Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya. For any of you that are new and viewing, welcome. In today's video, we'll be installing this wig from Beauty Forever Hair. So if you guys are interested in seeing it, make sure you continue to watch. <laughs> All right, you guys, so Beauty Forever Hair sent over this oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wig, you guys. This wig, it was just giving, like it was just speaking to me, okay? So I went off camera and I did pluck the hairline. It does come a little bit more full, but do keep in mind that it does come pre-plucked, you guys. But I plucked it a little bit more because I wanted it to be more thinned out so what you see right now is the aftermath of my plucking skills and i am going to keep this wig with the middle part it does come um out of the packaging with like the middle part set but keep in mind that you can style this wig how you please because it does have a frontal space um for you to work with now it also comes kind of pre-bleached but um i did go in and bleach it a little bit more just so i can get rid of any spots that were missed and keep in mind this unit does come with color so you're going to get like a black and brown um type of color play in this unit and i do have it in 24 inches it is beautiful full i love the density of it it keeps a curl pattern so well so to install this wig you guys i'm going to use my faithful and trusty lace layer glue i live by this glue you can find the link to purchase it in my description bar below um it can also be found on amazon if you don't want to purchase it from directly from their site but y'all this glue is amazing and make sure you keep watching for the end of the video they do have this a lace layer remover product so it helps you remove your wigs safely without destructing your edges or anything like that so make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video to see how i remove my wigs <music> So to install this wig, I'm going to use about two to three layers of this glue. And I am going to do the ball cap method, y'all. Like I don't do the ball cap method often because of how much I love to change my wigs. So I just don't do that because I feel like that extra step for me personally is not necessary. But today I decided to do it for some reason. So to hold my um, cap in place I am going to use the lace layer glue as well I feel like that that step is a little bit easier than using all of that got to be free spray to hold your your um, cap in place but it's really up to you guys whatever you want to use whatever works for you but I just choose to use the glue so um, I'm going to do that blow dry it down for about four to five minutes just to make sure it gets really dry and then i'm gonna cut the cap off and make sure i blend that cap into my head using a little bit of makeup as well just making sure it all blends and looks very clean and nice okay 
So once that process is done, then we're gonna move on to installing the wig. So I'm going to go in with the glue and probably add about two layers and I'm going to blow dry that down as much as I can and my patience will allow me <laughs> because sometimes I kind of get a little bit impatient you guys and I'm just ready to glue my wig down and it works for me you know I can glue it down tie it down add a little bit of makeup blow dry it down some more and that glue will no longer be visible because I know some people feel like oh my god you can still see the glue but y'all it's okay I know how to finesse it okay we're gonna get that glue to where it ain't visible no more you'll see just continue to watch the video to the end and you will see the glue is not even visible anymore okay So that is my process of installing my wigs. So, um, yeah, so whew, I'm talking a lot. Okay. We are going to do that process over and over until we get the wig nice and secure. And then I'm going to get that lace cut off. Makeup is key as well, you guys. It just helps with blending that wig that lace in and getting it melted to perfection. So once I get the lace melted, then I'm going to move on to my baby hairs as well as styling the wig. So I am going to cut some layers into this wig into the front just because I wanted it to have a little bit more um, just that layered look in the front, especially with me wearing it in a middle part. And I'm going to use my curling wand as well as my flat iron to add my curls into my wig today. And I'm also going to use my flat iron to get my baby hairs intact. And I'm just going to give myself about two to three swoops on each side. Just helping it look a little bit more natural, a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun. pretty much all of my steps you guys with um installing my wig let me know what you guys think about this unit in my description in my comment section below i would love to hear what you guys are thinking about it i absolutely love this wig i wore it for i wore it all week actually um when i installed this wig and it wore so well no shedding no tangling i just revamped the curls each day um when i got ready to head out but 
I got so many compliments on this wig, you guys. It's definitely one you want to add to your collection for sure. Beauty Forever hair. I love this hair. Thank you so much for sending it over to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I say let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And that's all I got for you. So make sure you continue to watch um, how I remove my lace at the end of the video. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, I guess I shouldn't even say welcome back. I guess I'm saying that because it's been, today is Saturday and I put this wig on last Sunday, which was the, either way, you get it. From a Sunday to a Saturday, the wig is still on and this wig is from Beauty Forever Hair. So it's starting to get, you know, flaky and, and crusty and all that from when I would redo my baby hairs and spray on the got to be spray, it's starting to look a little crazy now. So I also wanted to, to, to <laughs> I also wanted to throw into the end of this video um, how I take off my wigs when I use lace glue. So if you saw previously, I used the lace layer glue, and lace layer also has a lace glue remover. So I'm going to use this today um, to take it off. So this is bed hair. I woke up with my hair like this. It's time for a new wig. I've had the same wig on all week. Usually I change my wig every two to three days. And I've done this look now for six days. So it's time for something new. So to remove your wigs, if you use lace hair glue or if you just want to use the remover, it has the directions on there and you apply it to where you've placed your glue and you'll have to massage it um, probably leave it on for about a minute or two and massage it in and then the wig will just come straight on up and if it doesn't do that same little process again it might take two times and you'll be able to get your wig off so let's get started And that's how I take my wigs off, guys.